are you doing insect observation now? Yes, I want to take photos and record them in my notebook. Let's take pictures of them together. Tap the butterfly to take a picture of it. The butterfly likes to eat nectar. The butterfly likes to flip from flower to flower. The wings of the butterfly look the same on both sides. It's so pretty. <laughs> I want to make a beautiful butterfly too. Well, let's do it together. First, fold the paper in half. Draw half of the butterfly's body. Then cut it out! Look! Cut the folded paper and you will get a symmetrical pattern when you unfold it! Isn't that amazing? Wow! That's so true! Color the right wing of the butterfly with the same color to make it symmetrical! On the left and right wings of the butterfly are the same. You are so smart. Quack, 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 quack. Quacky, did you know most insects are symmetrical? Really? Let's find some insects and check if they're symmetrical. Okay. Where are the ins? Get your camera on it. is symmetrical. Its left and right wings have the same shape, color, and pattern. That's right. The other insects are crooked, so I'm not sure. First, let's cut out the insect from the photo for better observation. Kids, can you help me finish cutting the remaining insect? The fluttering moth has been cut out. Well done! Quacky, look! The insect isn't crooked now. Yeah! Let's fold it in half. When we fold it and the two halves match exactly, then it is symmetrical. Oh! I got it now! Fold the paper in half. Wow! Both sides are the same in size and shape. Is the dragonfly symmetrical? Verified successfully! Great job! Most insects are symmetrical! Ah! Uh, my kite! Huh? What happened? Let's go and have a look! Rocky, why is your kite broken? My kite went off balance. It got caught on a branch. I know why. Your kite is not symmetrical. Miss May May said that kites are designed to be symmetrical in order to fly high and steady. My kite. Woof, woof. Don't be sad. I'll help you make a new symmetrical kite. These kites are all symmetrical. Pick one you like. Butterfly kite! You've picked a nice kite. Now, let's make the body of the kite. Fold the paper in half. Draw half of the butterfly on the paper. Now, cut out the butterfly. Awesome! Let's decorate the kite. Kids, can you help me 
we draw the other half of the kite? This way, the kite will be symmetrical. What color should I use here? It's done! Let's add a pair of antenna to the butterfly. Next, let's make a frame for the kite. Firstly, apply glue to the kite. Lay the wooden sticks in place to secure the kite. on both sides symmetrical. Add decorations to the clothes to make the patterns on both sides symmetrical. Advanced exercises. Sort out the symmetrical and asymmetrical blocks. No, it's not. Sort out the symmetrical and asymmetrical blocks. Expanded exercises! Let's put the blocks in place and make them symmetrical on both sides. Make some window paper cuts. Sure. Choose your favorite pattern first. Fold the paper in half first. Good job. Draw some small patterns. Lastly, cut along the patterns with your scissors. the window paper cut to unfold it. Wow, the window paper cut is so pretty. <laughs> Quacky, do you know why the window paper cuts are all symmetrical? I know. It's because we folded the paper in half. You are great. Mom, let's stick it on the wall. Okay. It looks beautiful! The number of times you fold the paper will make the window paper cuts look different. Really? I'm going to fold it in half again to see what kind of window paper cut I will make. Kids, you can cut out beautiful window paper cuts and tell your mom and dad how to make the pattern of the paper cut symmetrical. 